This is what LaserCat 3 looks like when you first open it up. When you're in Unix catalog, you have to write down what the customer's telling you because he's going to tell you, I need a water pump. Then he's going to tell you the make, the model of year, and maybe then the engine size. Or he's going to say, I have a 2005 Chevrolet truck. So customers can ask you in many, many multiple ways what they're looking for. But when you come to laser, when you go in the Unix catalog, you're restricted to just one way to look it up. When you come to the LaserCat catalog, we can look it up many different ways. We can look it up by year. I can look up Chevrolet. I no longer have to ask it if it's a truck. I can pick a truck or a car, and I can then pick my engine size. And then I can pick my original categories and engine filters and up come my conditions. Instead of having to answer four questions, I can just click OK to all four of them, or I can click the ones I need to and leave the other ones off and click OK. And now I have all my listings that I have in stock in my catalog. So that's one way I can look up a car. If I go to look up another car and the customer says, well, I do have a water pump, I can actually go in here and type in water pump. But if you type in water pump, now it's going to come up and say, pick all the things about a water pump you'd like to know. So I'm going to pick the water pump itself, maybe a hose, and um, maybe a pulley. Maybe I need the pulley too. So then when I do that and I click OK, it goes and asks me what make, year, model that I need to look it up for. I want to cover just uh, some new, some other stuff about new car. I talked about the fact you can do year, make, model first. You can do water pump and description. You can look up ignition and engine filters and go through and then pick the year. Here's a function I like real well. How would you like to be able to have a customer give you his VIN number? We can do that in the prism, but here it is right on the first screen. You don't have to hit any keystrokes. You can type in the VIN number. Go to the VIN number, and that would take you to other car, other information. Now, with that, uh, those three functions covered, here's one you can't do in your prism at all. I'm going to go to all groups, and I need an air conditioning clutch. Sorry, I hit that too many times. I'm going to go to all groups, and it lights up all groups together. I need an air conditioning clutch. I need a set of belts for the air conditioning. I need the front brake pads. So I go and I find brake pads, and um, rear and front are separate. So over here is front brake hardware, hydraulics and pads, so I might pick front brake pads and hardware, and I need a radiator cap, and I need a water pump. Unrelated items totally. That's everything the customer says he needs. So when I click OK on this application, then I can go back and I can say, OK, he's in a 2003, he's driving a Chevrolet, he's driving a Cavalier, now I can go in and say, OK, this is looking up air conditioning clutch. I can sell his air conditioning clutch. I can then go to the belts, sell his belts. I can then go to front brake hardware. Oh, there's a condition that comes up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, yes, it's got ABS. Well, dang, he just told me, no, he doesn't have ABS. I can just click on the condition button right above the box and change the condition that quickly from yes, he had ABS to no, he doesn't. No more having to go back arrow till you get to the right conditions and answering them all again.